everybody. There is one thing that every puppy needs to learn in order to be successful, and I'm gonna tell you what that is today, so don't go away. Hey everybody, I'm Denise Mazzola from Everything Dog and welcome to our 10 minute training tip. And today it is all about puppies and there is one behavior that every puppy needs to learn. If you're watching this during the 2020 pandemic where all the stay at home order, orders are happening and we can't go out, blah, blah, blah. Many, many people are out of work and many, many people are working from home. This is vitally important to teach your puppy or your newly adopted dog, so either one. And the number one behavior is they need to learn that you're gonna go away and you're gonna come back again. So it's home alone training is what every puppy needs to learn. And in, in the world before the pandemic, if you were working, you, you know, maybe you took a week off, but then you had to go back to work and your puppy just had to learn to be alone, right? They were crated, maybe they had a long-term confinement area, and maybe had a dog walker that came in the middle of the day. But nonetheless, they had built in home alone training that was just done automatically. But now, if you're out of work or if you're working from home, you have to really be conscious about teaching your puppy the number one behavior, which is staying home alone. So each day you need to be cognizant that you are finding a way to leave your puppy home alone. Now, it can start with something as simple as your puppy is crated while you take a shower. You leave the puppy in the crate, you go and take a shower. Uh, it could be as simple as you put your puppy in the crate and maybe you have a long driveway, maybe you walk down and get the mail. Maybe uh, you put your puppy in the crate while you go and take a 30 minute errand or do something very quick like that. It can also be very quickly, very quick that if you have a crate or an X pen called an exercise pen, when we're house training puppies, they're always in an X pen. So we'll set up the X pen in our kitchen while we are in the kitchen doing things. So they're confined in the kitchen with us present. But then if we have to walk downstairs or use the facilities, what we do is we have some of their kibble, some dog treats ready on the table. We'll take a little handful of that, like this I'll do with Geo. You'll scatter them in their X pen. You're gonna walk away, go do your thing, and then you're going to come back. So every time you leave, you're going to drop some food in their X pen, go downstairs, grab that pen, come back upstairs, and you've come back. Coming back is the natural reinforcement for the puppy. They're excited to see you. So what you wanna do is you want to say, hey, when I leave, Prior to leaving, I'm gonna rain some dog kibble, some puppy kibble, some safe little puppy treats, give you those, and then I'm gonna go away, and then I'm gonna come back. And you're basically gonna do that for longer and longer periods of time so that your puppy can habituate to, oh, okay, they go away, they come back. It's hard if you just, like, you can't just put them in a crate and go away for five or six hours. I mean, you can if you have to, but, they're probably not gonna be able to hold their business and they're gonna be frantic about the crate. So you can also do a long-term confinement area in a laundry room, in a bathroom. You have to puppy proof it first, install a baby gate that you know they can't get past and they can have a, you know, some potty space, food and water and a sleeping space that are separate. And that can serve as your, I'm going away, I'm coming back, depending on the length of time that that's gonna happen. But again, the number one behavior to teach any puppy, but especially during this pandemic, is that you will go away and come back. Because when things start to open up again and you go back to work, if you have not started this training now, teaching your puppy that you go away and come back, called home alone training, your puppy is going to potentially have a horrible case of separation anxiety because suddenly everybody's disappeared. The kids have gone back to school, you've gone back to work, the house is empty, and they've never experienced that. So you must be super cognizant of teaching them this. And here's an example. My daughter um, just got a puppy. They got a puppy on uh, whatever, Thursday. So she's home on Thursday, puppy is adjusted, slept in the crate at night. Friday, she and her husband are both working, so they staggered their lunch hours, so one could come home after a couple of hours, puppy's back in her crate. The other one came home after a couple of hours, puppy back in her crate, and then they came home at the end of the day. Perfect, and, and again, they're both still working outside the home. 
Now Saturday comes, they're doing all kinds of things with the puppy, but knowing that the number one thing they need to teach their puppy is to be home alone. When they went to do a quick 30 minute errand on a Saturday, they made the choice and the decision, even though it was hard, to put the puppy in her crate, close the door and walk out of the house without her, go do that errand and come back. And the reason she said to me, she said, mom, you know, she hadn't been alone all that day and we need to keep that up before we go back to work on Monday. And I'm like, absolutely. And those little times like that are gonna be really, really helpful for your puppy. On Sunday, they did the same thing. They were doing a lot of things with the puppy and then they said, oh, we haven't, she hasn't had crate time today. So they put her in her crate while they went out and got their takeout dinner and then they came back. So it was another 30 minutes, okay? So the number one thing you need to teach your puppy is how to be home alone. And if, you're, if you are watching this during the pandemic, during the stay at home, during the time when millions of people are unemployed and millions of people are working from home, you need to be super conscious about doing this. Okay guys, so remember, the number one behavior to teach your puppy is how to be home alone. X-pens, crates, Every day they should have crate time, even if you're home all day. They should have crate time. Crate them when you take a shower. Crate them when you go out to get the mail. Uh, crate them when you go out to do some quick little errand or leave them in an X-Pen. And if you're leaving them in the house, put them in their crate, put them in their X-Pen, rain a bunch of treats on, there, on them, go take your shower, come back. Put them in their crate or their X-Pen, give them a bunch of treats, go downstairs, get your pen and come back. Short little sessions like that and you're gradually gonna build it up longer and longer until they're like, whatever, I'm in my crate, I'm getting lots of food and I know you're gonna come back and I'm chill about that. Okay, you guys, have a great time with your puppy and I'll see you next week. And you will have a much more successful, the thing is on your hat. It's a wasp. Ah. Yep. Good, I can do that all over. <laughs>